Hi friends and welcome back to my New England story. As you can see, today we're in my dining room and it's somewhat of a gloomy day outside. I thought it would be a perfect day to do a little bit of crafting. Now, I first got this idea actually last week when I was down in Texas. I went to a little town called McKinney, Texas. It's just adorable and all of the store windows were just fully decorated for Christmas. They had Christmas music going. It just got you in the spirit of things. And I went into one particular store. I believe it's called Birds and Words. I'm sorry, I apologize. I forget the name, but I believe that was it. And it was just beautiful, just gorgeous with all of their Christmas decor. I had picked up a set of what actually are little gift cards. They were just so pretty and I don't know if you can tell, I will show a close up. It had the dove and it had a reindeer and a star. And they actually open up and they came with envelopes. And I purchased them because I thought they were beautiful also um, it gave me a little idea years ago my daughters and I we always did all kinds of different paper crafts made tags and cards and all kinds of things so I have paper coming out of my ears now I will say I have a feeling they may have possibly used this because of the intricate detail on some of these things maybe a Cricut or some form of a machine to cut these out. So what I'm doing today is I am going to use some cookie cutters that I have. And I started making already. I had, like I said, some papers on hand. This is a little tartan plaid. And I just did a gingerbread man, a, a Christmas tree, and a star pretty simple. I just pulled out some cookie cutters that I already had and traced them onto the paper. I'll, I'll show you real quickly what I did. And uh, my idea was I wanted to hang them from, I have two lights over the island in our kitchen. But then as I was making them, my mind was just like, oh my goodness, all the things we could do with this. One thing I thought would be beautiful is you know, leaving them as is and just laying them in some garland. They would be pretty. They would be beautiful on a little tree. And of course, you could make them as gift tags or little cards. You choose whatever you would like to do. But that is what inspired me. And um, I just thought I would share it with you today. Now in last week's video, I had showed you my Thanksgiving decor and as you can see, it, it is all still up. However, I am getting a little antsy this year <laughs> and I did decide to start on my kitchen tree. I have just a tiny little Christmas tree in my kitchen in front of the window and it's just so cozy to have that in there. So I did start with that and put up my uh, and put up the candles in the windows that I do every year, pretty much November through March. I have done that for many, many years. So I don't consider that Christmas decor. But I've just been anxious this year to get started a little early, but I'm not going to. I, Other than those two things, I'm not doing any more decor this week. So between being down in McKinney and the seeing all the Christmas decor there, and then this week I also went to a little consignment antique store and they had so many Christmas things there. I'm gonna share that with you today. It's a really fun store with so many unique things. Um, so I did take a little video and I'm gonna share that with you a little later on. So let's get started on this and I'd also like to know have you started with your decor? I'm sure many of you have um, based on the comments that I got la in last week's video and uh, just a lot of what I see on Instagram. There is only, I believe it's only three weeks this year between Thanksgiving and Christmas. 
because Thanksgiving is later. So I don't blame anyone. <laughs> I would want to get started too, especially if you do a lot of decor. So let me just show you real quick. I'm going to bring you over here so you can see a little closer of what I'm doing. Again, it's very easy, but a fun project. So let me bring you over here. Okay, so here's a little closer look at what I have made. And as you can see, I've chose to do a little bit of a glitter on everything. This paper is more glittery than the white. This is like an iridescent. And then again, the tartan plaid. So I'm gonna do the tartan plaid. And in this case, I just made a little stencil of the star because I wanted it to be just a little larger than the cookie cutter that I had. However, you know, so here's the Christmas tree cookie cutter that I used. So I merely am placing it on the paper. I will trace it and then we will cut it out. And another idea I had is if you recall last year when I made this, the bulb ornaments out of cupcake liners and I hung them in some garland on my window. I thought these would be really pretty, especially the glittery ones hung, you know, maybe in between those ornaments. So, so many ideas on this. I'm really glad I saw them. And I thought it would also be a fun project to do with older children. And they could just use their imagination, especially if you have a lot of different decorative papers. I have not used the papers that I have in many years. I've used them. I pulled them out once in a while and we did uh, make some gift tags and some cards, but I don't want to get rid of the papers. They're just so beautiful and it's pricey, you know, once you start collecting everything. But like this one, I just, I love this. And that's, you know, just go to Michael's or Joann's. That's where I got a lot of them. Hobby Lobby also. So anyway, okay, so there you go. And you know, you just put them together here. Now what I did is I just used good old Elmer's glue. You could use a glue gun. If you prefer that, I would recommend low heat. You don't need a lot. I just went around the edges lately just made a little line because it doesn't take much for it to adhere. Like I said, you will need a hole punch, of course, to put a hole in it if you choose to hang. And let me show you. I did buy, I found these two different strings. I thought they were really pretty with the gold. And I found those at Michael's. So, you have to make sure you have it lined up correctly. <laughs> and it's that easy. There you go. You'd, I thought another fun thing would be as if you had, say, a glitter glue, you could go around. You know, with that, you could put buttons and a face on gingerbread men. So many fun options. So then just to complete that, you are going to put, where do I want the top? I think right here. Just use a hole punch. And I liked this ribbon. It almost looked like a chain. Just put that through, tie it to the length that you want. Now I'm probably not going to tie this right away because I kind of want to see, I, I'm going to want to tie that onto the lights. Like I said, these are going to go over the island, but um, I may even want to do different lengths. I will be playing with that. So there you go. Easy, fun craft. 
use your imagination, all kinds of fun papers out there. Uh, but let's head into the kitchen. I'm going to show you my little kitchen Christmas tree, at least as decorated as I have it so far, which isn't much. <laughs> let's go. Okay, well, here is my little kitchen tree so far. As you can see, I basically just put the lights on and I place these beautiful little Sherpa poinsettias in here. I put just a few in. Um, I wanted to see how they looked in a tree. I'm actually, I am selling those in my store if you're interested. They are listed along with these beautiful flocked star lights that I love. They're so soft. And the beaded snowflake vintage ornaments. If you've watched my videos in the past, you've seen where I have similar snowflakes. Typically, I hang them from my uh, chandelier in my dining room. And there you go. You get to see how these things actually look on a tree. The point set is, I think I may put those in some garland in my garland on my mantle in my living room. I'm gonna try that also. So anyway, it's just, it's only begun. <laughs> and uh, it's just nice having the cozy lights in the kitchen, especially this time of year. And like I said, it's a gloomy day out. So there you go.
as you can see, there was just so much to look at. It was a fun, fun store. I just wanted to take the time to wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. And I also wanted to thank each and every one of you, not only for watching my videos, but for subscribing. And most of all, for your kind words and your comments. I truly appreciate it, friends. Happy Thanksgiving, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.